I was born in East Africa and from a little child I was always exposed to the charitable work that my family did. My family got involved in building um, orphanages for children, animal sanctuaries, um, they used to go out into the villages to feed children. So we were exposed to many things that the family did and I suppose that kind of planted the seed of wanting to do some voluntary work. I, I trained myself to become a fashion designer so I was in the industry for quite a few years but also I had paralysis in my left leg from when I was six months old. I grew up wearing uh, calipers and surgical shoes but unfortunately the sway of the walk left me with a double curvature in the spine and about 20 years ago they decided to put me in a wheelchair. It was a complete change of my lifestyle but at the same time because I had disability from a very young age I didn't let it affect me. I got a voluntary job at a hospital in Stanmore where I was working with people with spinal injury. The fact that I was still wheeling around, getting everywhere, it kind of gave them hope as well that it's not going to be as bad. It's just that period that they have to go through of therapy and then get on with life. I kind of realized that for elderly people or people with language difficulties there was a gap within the trust where volunteers could come in very handy. That gave me an idea of becoming a volunteer for the trust. I started in cardiology department then I was brought into main reception. I do patient buddy in the afternoons as well. Volunteering gives me that inner sense of happiness. Making a change in someone's life, being able to help someone, being able to make someone smile, you get that sense of inner happiness and I would definitely recommend whatever little time you can spend, try and make a difference out there.